Today, Kevin and I have some limited edition items from Frederick's by Meyer. That is a Meyer brand. Uh, they come out with these limited edition bags in the candy aisle, and I always look forward to seeing what they're going to have. So this is the chocolate sugar cookie bites. These are chocolate eggnog snickerdoodle bites. Um, gingerbread and malted milk balls. These are the dark and white chocolate gingerbread bites. And then we have the candy cane yogurt almonds. So these are normally $5.99 a bag, uh, but we got them on sale for $5 a bag. So uh, I don't know if that was an in-perks thing or just a store sale. We don't know. Yeah. Kevin finally signed up for the in-perks, which is a Meyer like savings. Yeah, I've, I probably, um, it offers me a $2 off keep on almost every time we check out. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says, do you want to use your $2 off? It's like, yes. <laughs> so it keeps that in the in the computer. Yeah, so when I punch my code in, it'll say, do you want to use this? Oh, that's great. So it reminds me of Walgreens, because when you're leaving kind Walgreens. Of, yeah, the, the cashier tells you that. Right. This, this one, the screen tells you. Oh, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a limited edition chocolate sugar cookie bites. It says seasonal favorites. Um, eight servings in the container, eight pieces, 30 grams or 150 calories, resealable bag. So that's just a resealable. I think so too. Because if they weren't, you'd have to get out the Ziploc bags. And they're like little coated like I snowballs. I know. Okay, they're crunchy. For some reason, I was expecting them to be soft. The number one ingredient is white chocolate. Hmm. They're not bad, but they're not really a strong flavor either. They have like a little cookie on the inside. Yeah, it's like a little cooked sugar cookie on the inside. Mm -hmm. And it's coated in like a white chocolate with like, mm -hmm. a, like a sugary coating on the outside. Mm -hmm. I, I wish the vanilla was a little stronger, but they're they're not bad. But they're just you don't. Kinda, I don't even taste vanilla. All I taste is white chocolate. It, it's kind of plain, aren't they? It is plain. Yeah. But they're really pretty. These are plain. They're they're cool looking. If you want to do something with a snowball theme, like a a snowman and have these little snowballs sitting around, that would be kind of cool. Or two, could, two little kid um, kids snowball fight. You know that would be mm -hmm. cool to, to put that on. Or a you, cake if or you had a, a cookie or a cake, you could make a snowman out of these. Out of kids those, could. just yeah. So they look like snowballs. I was thinking, uh, because it literally just tastes like white chocolate, that you could mix those in with something else. Yeah. Like with a, like a pretzel type yeah. mix or something. Yeah, easily. Because truly, they're good, but they are, they're, they're plain. They're mm -hmm. like sugar cookies. Yeah, they're not overly sweet or overly flavored. Okay, now these are chocolate eggnog snickerdoodle Love bites. Eggnog. Okay. Oh, it smells like snickerdoodle, like cinnamon. Mm. Oh, uh, eight pieces are 150 calories, and there's nine servings. Mm. They're soft. Nice texture. Mm -hmm. It's not quite as soft and smooth as like a truffle. It's more like a piece of just soft chocolate. It reminds me of a... It's firmer, but it reminds me of like a cookie dough because it's gritty. Mm -hmm, it does. Very gritty. Um, I don't get eggnog at all. I don't know where the eggnog came in. I don't either. <laughs> it's all... It's all snickerdoodle. It's all cinnamon. It's all cinnamon. It's all cinnamon. And the cinnamon, I like the grittiness. It kind of ends on a raw... Um, yeah, raw um, cinnamon. Yeah. It's a raw powder cinnamon. It's kind of a little harsh. It is. So when you're chewing it... You notice it a little bit, but then once it's gone, yeah. it's kind of earthy. That's it's left. very, it's very strong, and mm -hmm. like you said, raw is the best word I could come up with too, because mm -hmm. it's like it leaves this like I don't want to eat a lot of those. No. it seems like a throat would hurt after a while. It's it's a little earthy for me. Yeah. Uh, it's it's I, good while you're eating them, but I don't. Know I do I like the it. texture. Yeah, I don't know what I eat a lot. Of uh, it's just the flavor. Maybe that's where they tried to incorporate some eggnog uh, that. Uh, nutmeg and it no. just doesn't work with the it, it could be I just don't yeah I wouldn't get those again mm -hmm. uh, these are gingerbread malted milk balls Kevin yeah, I like the texture of those things. a malted milk ball oh they're big 
Let's walk them over the floor. They look okay. just like the Emma movies on the other side. So okay. They're uh, bigger, but. Nine servings, four pieces are 140 calories. The Whoppers are not this big. Do you think Whoppers are this big? Mm -hmm. They're more my size. I get the gingerbread. I get the burn of the ginger, honestly. Oh. Don't like the malt mixed with the gingerbread, though. No. It's kind of fun. Oh. Oh. And it comes across as that harsh kind of burn, too, doesn't it? I don't think it's that bad, but I don't like how the mix of the gingerbread and malt. It's all up in my sinuses. My nose is It's all up. <laughs> I do not like the combination of flavors. No, the combination is not good. No. Because at first I was thinking, oh, well, you really get the malt flavor. I like that. And then all of a sudden the ginger kicked in and it was like, no, that doesn't mix well. And I'm wondering, for me personally, I don't know if it has to do with the combination or if it, is it just the gingerbread? It could be because that ginger is pretty, uh, pretty strong. We're going to find out. Though. Burn your throat almost. See, ginger. It, it doesn't burn my throat at all, but it tastes so funky. I do not it's like not that. Okay. They're trying to be different and it doesn't work. <laughs> Gosh. Normally these are. And I like the texture. Wonderful. The texture of these is wonderful. But it's, yeah. These are all the same color. This, okay. Oh no, those are This is different. dark and white chocolate gingerbread. Looks like a marble you'd have back in the 50s. Uh, eight servings in the container, five pieces are 150 calories. There's a hard cookie in the middle. Uh -huh. It's right there. That's your gingerbread. Okay. I just got the chocolate on the outside. It's very nice. It's wonderful. It's the gingerbread. Whatever ginger flavor they're using in these, mm -hmm. it's very raw and rough. Cause I don't really like that gingerbread either. It's better because the chocolate really helps offset it a little bit, but it's still, it's pretty stout ginger. <laughs> I am not getting the funky flavor at all that I got in the It's not as bad as this one. No. I still really there. do like the the chocolate on mm -hmm. the outside. It's a very very thick chocolate coating, so it is very sweet. I do get the burn from the ginger mm -hmm. in this. Yeah, it's strong ginger. So I didn't get any funky flavor. I actually really really like. I those. don't mind those, but those are kind of like these where we said it's the kind of this raw, kind of raw season. Cinnamon. So you get that kind of like from that. Um, it's just ginger. I really like those though. I would actually I buy them. these again because I do like the ginger in them and you taste the ginger. But that the chocolate adds so much sweetness and, and I love that it's like triple dipped so it's really thick. See if those I were to get nice. those, I would eat all the chocolate on the outside and spit out the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you know you, it's gonna burn your throat. Yeah. Okay, now these are gonna be completely different. Well, they look little like bird eggs or something. These are candy cane yogurt almonds. Uh, there's 10 servings in the bag, nine pieces, 30 grams or 160 calories. I want the one that's two put together. It's a very thick coating. I like that. Mm. The candy cane pieces are crunchy, like little crunchy mm. pieces of sugar. Yeah, I think that the flavor of the almond and the chocolate is so strong though, you don't get a strong candy cane flavor. It's you there, but it's, it's very, very light. Oh, look, there's two more stuck together. It only counts as one. Mm -hmm. It's funny how this one was so plain, which it's sugar cookie, so I mean that makes sense. But this one's so plain um, flavor wise, but then you got these other ones that are so bold in their flavor. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's too bold. Um, yeah, it's a completely different contrast to flavor. For me, this one is all about the texture. Yeah, it's very good. The crunchy almond in the middle. Mm -hmm. I love those. Now, See, I think the best texture was, was this one, the, the uh, snickerdoodle bites. I like the texture of those too, because it's gritty. And the malty like milk sugar I like both of the textures of these, mm -hmm. but I didn't like the flavors of them. Um, if you're buying these for candy cane, you might be a little disappointed. Yeah, it really doesn't taste good. Because you're getting a hint, you're getting like a whiff of that candy cane. 
You're not getting the... Like you've licked a candy cane and then stuck the almond in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you're getting the yogurt and the almond. Mm -hmm. I love the texture though. It's it's a phenomenal yeah, texture. Yeah. So I could eat a whole bag of those really easy. And they're well coated. They didn't go they didn't go cheap on the coating either. They're thick. No, they're nice. It's just like um, the uh, these uh, dark dark and white chocolate. Yeah, it's really thick. It's a really thick coating. Uh, my favorites. I'm not gonna pick the first ones, the sugar cookie, because it's literally just white chocolate. Mm -hmm. So for me. If I'm going to buy white chocolate, I'm going to buy it in another form. I'm going to get it in a bar rather than those little balls. Um, I like, I'm going to choose these two. If I had to choose two, I would pick those two as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like I said, the, the gingerbread one, I'm literally going to spit the cookie out. <laughs> I think they're very, very, very good quality. I think you will like these. Yeah. Those malted milk balls, I would never get again. No, they're an odd combination. You might like them if you try them, but for me, they were odd too. Yeah, if you ever get a chance to try them, you'll have to let us know. It's just, um, yeah, did not like that combination at all. Uh, but I will have a picture of these for you at the end. Thank you so much for watching the video. I know a lot of people don't have Meyer in their area. So it means a lot that you support the channel by watching the video, even though you don't have them in your area. Um, so thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. of holly fa la 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 tis the season to be charlie fa la 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 la